I'm a fucking beaner. Straight fucking beaner. You don't get no fucking beaner than me. I rock the boots, the hats, everything. I think I'm more beaner than Bazooka. Nah, wey. No? <laughs> and for those that que quieren que haga un pinche video, quieren, dicen que quieren que haga un video en español. Pues habla en español, wey. Lo hubiera hecho en español, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Ah? Por, eso me siento, por eso me siento con los paisas, porque hablo español. ¿A ah, poco pensaban que más porque me miran güerito con ojos de color? Pinches lacras, culeras. Hey, pues. This is JC with Ron Strong, and uh, we got a special guest today. We got motherfucking Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Bazooka, Die, Bazooka did some time with me in Lampoc, federal prison in Cali, and uh, we, uh, we're going to touch on the subject of the paisas, because you know you guys, I dropped a video about, you know, most of them, most of them are not gang members. What do you think? What do you think? We're not. They, they, they just came together for union, and, union and, and, you know, taking care of business. Protect each other just so nobody else because you. I guess I guess what they're saying now is that, like, uh, I guess the Paisas are writing under a number now, 16. Because he wrote Paisa the whole, what did, you, what did you do, a dime piece? You did 10? I was 11. 11? 11 years. And you don't get no more Paisa than fucking Bazooka. Okay? So, you know, that, that's the thing is that. I made a video talking about how when I went to Latuna in 1998, the, 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 the paisas were not formed yet. The paisas, were, and that's the first yard where it kicked, it kicked off with the paisas and the Aztecas. They came together, and that big riot kicked off, and that's when the paisas actually like started coming together. You know, there wasn't that many in the federal system. Now, they pretty much outnumber. I want to say everybody. everybody. Pretty much. Because, I mean, in Log Park, how many was there? I don't know, half the yard, probably. So, but what I want to also say, too, is that when there's numbers, there's more problems. Because since there was a lot of paisas in Log Park, a lot of them broke off into states. Yep. Michoacan, Chihuahua, fucking all the states. So, that causes issues, too, when you have so many guys... You know, uh, control everybody. Yeah, it's a control everybody. You know, everybody wants to be a fucking boss. Everybody wants to be, everybody wants to be a chief. No, not enough fucking Indians. But um, hey, what's up, brother? Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay, so this is how. <laughs> <laughs> this is his. I was like, they use a sixteen. Why do they use a sixteen? And he's like, well, the letter P falls on sixteen. So. I guess what's happening now is that the paisas are actually getting more organized to the point where there's there's like structure where there's you know they're building bylaws and stuff like that and I think it's happening too because of the higher security yards yeah because there's a lot of them doing time like in Victorville you know uh, 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 behind the wall and stuff like that and they have to be actually uh, very very um, strict on on laws and and how they carry themselves so but like i said last time man most of these guys man they're not gang members man i i don't give a fuck what anybody says most of these guys are here for illegal entry this motherfucker yeah this motherfucker is a fucking uh fucking street thug <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of these dudes they're getting arrested for you know uh illegal entry and getting you know seven five years and for bullshit. for bullshit, you know, they have to do what they have to do. Yeah, I understand they, they came into the country illegally. There's a right way and wrong way to do it. But come on, man. It's it's, it's just Ten, didn't start happening. It's been happening forever, you know. Ten years for illegal reentry. You know, and, and that's the thing is that in, in prison, if you don't come together and actually create a, create a mob, uh, people are going to take advantage of you. You're not going to have no no rights to nothing. You're not going to have a TV, you're not going to have a phone, you're not going to have 
uh, uh, someone that's working in commissary to like get your your paperwork in faster because the thing is is that they gotta probably take your shit anyway. Yeah, so it, it's like this, man. When when you're in prison, man, there's every every race is working either in the kitchen, every race is working in the laundry room, every race is working in the commissary. There's there's it's structure to it because what happens is that that person looks out for all his people. Just like when I went into the kitchen to be a, a cook, this motherfucker wanted me to steal meat every fucking day, you know? But I, I'm not good at stealing. I always got fucking caught. You know, uh, I'm like the worst fucking criminal ever. So uh, um, that's the thing, though. But, you know, Basuka, he worked in the kitchen with me. And, you know, we sat with the paisas. And a lot of people were asking me, you know, why why did I sit with the paisas if, if I was a Latin king? And I, I tell people is that there were no land kings in fucking in, La, in Lompoc. And I feel at home with Baisas because I'm fucking Mexican. I feel at home. So that's who I decided to sit with. You know, um, I'm not going to sit by myself or I'm not going to sit with uh, Samoans or somebody else or, or, or the blacks. If, or the chomos. Uh, or, the, or the chomos. <laughs> you know, because they were chomos there that had their own fucking table. That's how fucking bad it is in the system now. You know what I mean? But that's the thing is that everything, everything in there is structure, man. And like I said, I don't consider Bices to be a gang. I consider Bices to come together. You mean the officers say they're not a gang? They come together to protect themselves in the system. Because half of those dudes, half of those dudes are going to end up going back to Mexico and then coming back to work. That's, that's, that's what happens. And... Like I said, there's a couple of bad apples in the bunch. Yeah, that's in everything. It's 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 in every fucking crew you could possibly think of. But be them being a gang, nah, I wouldn't consider them a gang. They're they're actually they they just they just protect their own man. They they want their people to do their time and get out, and they want you get there, and they tell you how how it's ran, who's calling the shots for that yard. Who's got the building where you're living at? Shit like that because it's structure, man. Because if you're a crash dummy, then you're going to make your whole fucking people crash. Because guess what? If you ride, we're riding with you later. We're going to ask questions. And then we're going to fuck you up for fucking everything up. But we're going to ride with you first because you're people. And that's the that's, way it works, That's right? what it is. And they'll tell you, look, don't gamble, don't do drugs, don't do... Just do your time and go home. No need to get extra time. Yep. So when no I shoe, no nothing. when I got in there, I had to go talk to the dude that had the the building where I was at, and they actually had to ask uh, the uh, the homies, the Sureños, if it was cool, because since I was a a, a affiliate gang member, uh, if it was cool if I sat with them, and there wouldn't be no problems. And you know, we talked it out. Everything was fine. You know, uh, they checked my paperwork, and um, I, I sat down with the paisas, man. This is the thing, I got questioned a lot. A lot of the biceps did question me that why was I sitting with them? And once they heard my response about where I'm from, Morollon, Guanajuato, and how I spend so much time in Mexico, I'm a fucking bitch. Que se va a caer, wey. Que tiene que, no, es que tiene magnets. Well, let's go. Yeah. How long, how long you been home? I got out the house January 4th. January 4th. You were gone for 11 years, huh? Almost 11. Yeah. It's then, what are we doing? Three more days would be 11. 11? 11 years. Yep. And, uh, you, uh, you, uh, rode Paisa the whole time, right? Yeah. Um, how would you, how would you say your time there was, what, what security yards did you do time on? Lows and caps. Lows and caps. So pretty kickback, right? Everything is kickback. Every, I mean, especially if you know how to do your time, mind your business, get yourself your, a routine, workout, your dedication, and get do something with your time. Say so, like the hobby shop. Do get a, a TV show, one one or two TV shows at night. Your day flies. Well, that's, that's what I tell people is that usually you get into a, a routine where you have a set schedule where you get up, 
you go to work, you work out, you, uh, you, you're, you're on a set schedule and pretty much, and, and it makes your time go faster. Not, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know about faster, but it makes your time go. Like, uh, my first two years, uh, Colorado. I needed more hours in the day to get all the shit I was trying to get done. It's just, once you get your shit together, your routine, your, your day passes by. Mm-hmm. And that's what I mean about doing your time and not letting your time do you, man. Because if, if your time does you, trust me, it's going to be some long days. I see a lot of... A lot of dudes that are always stressed on the phone, calling baby mama, Sancho's picking up, and <laughs> <laughs> they want to they wanna fucking kill everybody, and, and they just, they're doing hard fucking time. Or they stand by, the, as soon as they wait for the mailman to come in, like stressing, wait for the mailman to come in, and they'll be in front, just waiting for him, and... It's crazy because you're doing time so hard and you don't have a routine, so you don't have like an uh, end goal, man. And that's the thing is that we, what we did is that we had an end goal. We went to work out, we went to work. We were at the kitchen all fucking day. And then we would come out, go straight to the yard, work out. Um, then so come I worked home. out in the mornings. Yeah, you worked out in the mornings. I worked out after work. Uh, because he had some TV shows that he liked to watch after he got off oh, of work. Running the ticket. Oh, running the ticket. Yeah, yeah, he's on some bullshit. <laughs> and selling all the <laughs> shit that he was stealing. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, me, I would get off of work, go straight to work out, then come back. And I had like two shows that I would watch. And, and that's how you do your time, man. You do your time. <clears throat> if you do your time, actually, I know it sounds bad, but if you actually know how to do your time, you could use that time as a positive thing. Thing that happened to you. Yeah. Man, you could go to school, get your GED. You could go to college. You go to college. You could do all kinds of shit. There's, if you want to come out educated, you want to come out doing something, like learn something, you can do it. Because there's time. All you gotta do is put, put your time to it. Time Just, and effort. Instead of stressing out, instead of thinking, overthinking shit that you can't do nothing about it, do something you can do. In there. Yep. And get. Get some uh, provecho out of it. Provecho. You hit it here. Round strong. Bazooka. <laughs>Tell, got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong